In Lawrence for many decades, a good quality education has not been available for most children. It is not a safe place in which any child should grow up. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, how are you? You good for school? It would be difficult for many families in Lawrence to have hope for a good future for their children without Lawrence Catholic Academy. I believe these kids are very hardworking. They're, they're very good kids. They just need some guidance, someone to be there for them, to give them love. And they really want to succeed in life. Um, they just need us to be there for them. My name is Sophia and I'm in third grade. I've been coming to the school since I was three. I like coming here because I see my friends and I see my teachers and sometimes at lunch we get to be table cleaners and then they give us treats at the end. Fourth grade is like it's like kind of hard and there's like like no snack at all. There's no snack. No, I'm, I'm getting used to it. I am getting used to it. When I interview prospective staff members teachers particularly, and I explained the challenges in a high poverty area in an urban setting and in an old building. The most important thing I want them to understand is that they need to love our children. We have a lot of single parent families. We have a lot of kids who live at or below the poverty line, but their parents make the sacrifice for them to come to LCA. LCA serves children who are disadvantaged uh, monetarily. And several of them, if they didn't come to school, would not get meals that day. So we have free breakfast and free lunch. It's a safe place for them to be. Their homes are difficult places. I love being with them. They're, they're just so grateful for whatever they have. My favorite thing about my school is when we have math because I love doing dividing and multiplicating. The good news in Lawrence is that when parents find out that a wonderful education is available and they find out it's affordable to them, of course they flock to LCA. LCA graduates 100% of its eighth graders to very good high schools. We're in the happy position of having a school that's bursting at the seams whose buildings have exhausted their usefulness. We currently have a room that's called a gym that's 40 feet by 30 feet for 450 children. That is also subject to regular flooding with sewage. We're blessed to have the ability to build a completely new school while the kids are still in the current school buildings. Peter Lynch is the most data-driven individual on the face of this planet. I was on the phone with Peter on a Friday afternoon in August, and he asked me exactly how many early childhood seats are going to be in the new school. I said it was about 75. He said, stop right there. You're not thinking this through completely. He had all of the numbers. He had the numbers for how many people are on waiting lists in this area for early childhood vouchers. He said, you really need to stop this and look at dramatically expanding those early childhood seats. We did that, and we ended up redesigning to have 150 early childhood seats in the new school. From a mission point of view, from a, an educational breadth point of view, and from a financial point of view, it makes all the sense in the world. I love like everybody that goes to the school. They're good people, very, very good people, and I know it in here and in here. No. Who is Peter Lynch?